hmm, I came out day two ready pumped up ready booked some trips already even though i landed the surfing place now i saw the beach and everything it was first of all i entered the bike to that place you know it wasn't so far i entered the bike on oh my i didn't i didn't wear a helmet but i was like god help me oh this that that costa rica is looking like the way they are i don't want to say lawless but the way they are doing their things yaga 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 is how nigeria is doing yaga they are not lawless like nigerians so. well i don't know but from what i saw they, they still have common respect decency and everything because nigeria and our yaga 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 that's how them to they are like that so like it's not as strict as I, I guess what i'm trying to say is that it's not as strict as you know canada or us or you know it's, it's not as as strict <laughs> I'm okay. and then we got we got down you know and immediately i got down i wasn't seeing people with life jackets i walked into the beach i saw that this this was a sea even not even ocean. I don't even know what to describe it. The place was sharp. There was deep, deep water. I saw people that were surfing inside. I've never asked the coach. I said, where is life jacket? So the coach did not understand English. In Spanish, he was speaking. I told him life jacket. He said, no, no life jacket. I teach you a professional. What do you mean? Excuse me. What do you mean I teach you a professional? He said, I teach you a professional. Easy, easy. Professionalismo. Bruh, like bruh, I'm not freaking professional. I can't even really swim to save my life. Like, bruh, I need a life jacket. And then I got in and I realized that there was nobody with life jacket actually. Like everybody was just surfing and they were in the water. So the first of all, I did practice first. Practice, you know, on the sand. Oh, it taught me, oh, you do this, raise one feet, raise one feet. You balance like this, you keep your feet you know um there's a way you keep your you keep your feet pointing forward straight you don't keep it to the side if not you will lose balance with the water and the distance i say okay we try try it out time for practical we enter inside the water first of all they used to do this to count the wave wave one wave two wave three so i first of all started with wave one baby wave hmm. i was on top of the surfing board you carry me the water will, will splash the water that was the first time i felt the force of water when they say water is to shatter ceilings, water is to shatter this, water is to shatter that, like I never really understood it. When I went surfing, was when I understood it. Before I even went surfing, like I was feeling cute, like I wore like a bikini kind of thing, like with my wrap round. They gave me clothes to wear. Oh. Me, I was. I first of all looked at them like, uh, like I mean, like I, I think this is okay, but I shot took it because I'm not the professional now. But as that wave, the, the water hits me. I say, if this water had hit me inside that bikini that I wore, I felt just naked inside that place. Nothing. So, first wave we entered. By the time the wave is coming, like this, this my surfing coach, he would turn the surfboard. I turn the surfboard, he would tell me, one, two, three, stand. I'll stand. I'll do like this, do like this, I'll balance. And then that's how it was. For you know, from first wave, oh, professionalism, professionalism. It took me to second wave, the way the water was just splashing my face. I know it's salty, splashing my face, splashing my face. The wave was coming again. Stand! I stood. I said, I had to shake, I had to shake. I said, God, now I can understand Peter. When Peter was shouting, Lord, save me. If people would have shouted since. Because in the Bible, they did not even tell us wave one, wave two, wave three. I can imagine the deep wave that Peter was on walking on. Why would you not shout God? Like, if you want, I saw it by I, I said, Peter, I understand you. I understand you like mad. I really understand you. From wave two, we don't went to wave three. I was telling the man, I said, I don't see anybody. Oh, this is too deep. He's like, you will take me back home. Oh. Where, where are other people? Why are they not inside the water? Why is it only me that is going this way? Why is it, why are we the only ones that, that's going this far? Let water not come and carry me for my parents. So they don't know that I'm inside like Costa Rica is there what I know that they are praying for me. Oga carry me where everybody is. Shall wave three. I did wave three. I came out. I did small, small, small. I started getting used to getting used to before I know. So the man was there, Joe. Carry me. Let me go back. I was done suffering because me, I don't like spending so much time in the water. Even when I'm swimming, I can't spend one hour straight in the water. Went um, stayed in my beach, whatever, other than other casino because that's also casino, casino at the chop, which is their native, their local rice, local rice dish. That's the only time we do it inside that place. Other casino stayed there, made some cute videos, you know, enjoy myself, flex around in the beach, you know, and just. <laughs> I'm
After that, I had I had uh, what they call it a zip lining activity, like in like three hours time. So after that, I took the bus back to where I was staying because I said it wasn't so far. You know, got refreshed, you know, freshened up and everything. And then I was out again, clothes change, all of that, all of that, to my next event, zip lining. Hmm. This zip lining activity that I did. So guys, we're about to zip line. And we're here, they have to take us on the tour though. To wear our gears and everything. We have to do like a canopy walk. When there, the first of all, kitted us and everything. Me, I wore my Crocs, feeling all good. They kitted us, they gave us these gloves, these very thick gloves. You know, yeah, I don't get to complain again. I'm just like, ah, what kind of thick gloves? What, what's the point? We're literally ziplining. Keep us Costa Rica is rainforest. People that are there, they are living inside forests. Is there nothing you can tell me? That place is forest. So we're literally ziplining across the rainforest, a part of the rainforest. So I shall wear the gloves that, you know, they gave me. <laughs> Where is the planning and in the canopy walk? Zip line canopy walk. We're in the jungle. We're in the jungle inside this rainforest. It's not easy. See me hug me. Give me cold. Cold months. But I look pretty in it. <laughs> what? Why would you? Where are they? Oh, you guys see ants coordinating. Is this like, is this it is, food? This is a leaf cutter ants. They got a big nest from anywhere. I will show you the nest of them. They take the leaf to the nest, but they don't eat the leaves. What do they do with the leaves? They make a fermentation process, add with the humid on the ground. They farm the fungus what they eat. They are very organized groups. They divide in different groups like wing helpers, Guards, cutters, Jeez. and chargers. Yeah, wow. ants, are, ants are known for the work for working yeah. together. They work very hard. And they call you say leaf ants? Leaf cutter ants. Leaf cutter. Leaf cutter. Cutter. Ah, oh, leaf cutter. Are they poisonous or dangerous? No, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see some going back to get more leaves. We zip line, zip line, we zip line, we take pictures, everything was really high. And then after that, um, what they call it? After like doing that, doing that, um, there's a point you get to where as you're getting to, if you've ever zip line, as you're getting towards the end, there's usually a barrier because you know you're coming with so much force. So there's usually a barrier that slows you down and then um, before they, you know, transfer you on and stuff. So at some point that we're zip lining, I couldn't really see the barrier because we really we did a very long one at a point and I couldn't really see the barrier. So I was checking, checking because you want to make sure that your head doesn't hit that. Because as you're approaching the barrier, they are shouting, oh, stop, stop, slow down or whatever. So like with that fear in mind that I'm not seeing this, this is heavy. I don't want to hit my head. I put the gloves, I put my finger to stop it. So once I put my, my, like, my finger on the gloves, because the zip line is very thick, right? It causes a jam. So like one of the guys had to come help me. Now, I didn't even know the impact that was, you know, I came down, they were all saying, oh, how are you? How's your finger? How's everything? Everything's fine. You know, I was okay, right? And then I didn't even know the impact that was until it was after the event, I checked my nails, like I was done. I was just eating. And then these are my nails. These are the nails I had done. You can see this one gone. So because of the force of that break that I did on the line, it literally cut. Like, hey God, you people, I think this, this journey, it literally, like, that was how the finger cut to. I didn't even know. So I was eating, so I went zip lining with, um, with these people that were in a group together. It was this Indian, American Indian family. They were so fun. Like they helped me take my last surprise zipline video. They were cheering me. Like it was, it was really nice, good vibes. Um, <sighs> The last zip line surprise that we did was like Tazan swing. I'm gonna play the video for you guys. Look, the things I tried on this trip. Thank you. 
She's gonna scream. <laughs> the girls all scream. I scream because I have to climb them. You can do it! You can do it! We're cheering for you! Extras, extras, extras! Yeah. I tell you. Wait, wait. You got it, Lois. You got it. You got it. You, got it. you look good. You look real good. Oh, 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 oh my God. <laughs> All right, you did it. <laughs> Woo! It's easy, easy, easy from here on out. He's <laughs> 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 so mean. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Bye, 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 bye! You did the hardest one. You got it. And then it was while we were eventually eating that I realized that this finger had guns. I was like, eh, what if that glove wasn't there? I pretty much think I would have had something caught deep. Thankfully, my finger did not cut because I think if that for something to, to easily slice through these nails that are thick, bro, there's every possibility that something worse could have happened. But we thank the Lord. So um, again, uh, I had casido and then they brought iced tea because I think that's their staple food, a staple lunch, casido and iced tea and the iced tea is really nice. You know, I had it, paid for some of my pictures and we left. I was supposed to meet up with the family for like um, an evening dinner that they booked, something like that. But it was really heavily by the time, you know, I had to go home to change to come back. It was really heavily. I'm just like, ah, it's not worth it. Because the way their night is to fall, it's not like North America here where during summer, like night really comes around like 9 p.m. Them, it's like normal Nigerian time from like six everywhere. I started getting back under that heavy rain inside that forest. Come and be coming out looking for bus. By the time I start coming back again, it'll be like around 10. I don't know when the last bus, bus will move and everything. I was just like, ah, it's not even worth it. And when we were going, um, we had this huge transformer shock, you know, and like it was so huge. You know, when transformer is to blow in Nigeria, it was so huge. There's someone that said, hope it's not an animal that has been electrocuted. I say, God, wait till I do with this, which kind of place I come. Like, the, the rainforest has different species of animals, housing different species of animals. There are even some snakes there, you know, to the point that sometimes the animals used to enter inside the powerhouse and be electrocuted. <sighs> Just to Shanwa. That's the only thing I have seen. Shasha. I went back to my house after after that um zip lining to rest because the next day I was going ATV, which was Saturday. So I rested everything the next day, chilled a little bit before I carried myself. I said, okay, let's go ATV. So I used to come and the tour, the tours I used to go. And the thing is that all the tours, I found them on um, Airbnb. Airbnb now has this feature where if you're going somewhere, you can see things like activities to do. Usually when I go solo, like on a trip, I use Yelp. So I'll check Yelp, like activities to do around. Yelp will bring some recommendations. I'll check the reviews and everything. And then I'll just go for them. So Airbnb this time, they had activities. They've included that in their future. So I just really booked all my tours. Um, most of my tours from Airbnb. The only ones I didn't really book was like the surfing one that I got recommendation from. So 
I did that and then I went for the 80. So <laughs> So guys we are heading to the 80 right now. Rah. I don't know who they are. I better be your real. We're here to do ATV. Nobody guessed it, so well, I didn't tell people to guess. So the guy with the bone shoulders for somebody that my hand have not strong in car yet. Like my hand have not strong. I booked the Airbnb. The Airbnb ATV. So he showed us first of all the tree and the four now. How to um you know, drive it and all of that, all of that. I don't even know where my mind did not even go to. Where's the seat built inside this ATV? Because I think maybe I was just thinking, like it's a quad bike, whatever, like it's a bike, you don't expect seat built in a bike or whatnot. Shasha, the man looked at me like, can you drive? We were five that were on this ATV tour. So like a family of four. So they did two, two, mother and, mother and father, the father was, like driving and the mother was behind in one ATV and then they did brother and sister the brother same thing the sister was behind I was the only single thing so after driving driving it was not an easy one we were passing through more slush different things I was overcoming I was the one leading with the man leading in front of me I was the second person I think my wanted to monitor me it was even good safe so I was sure driving the scene I was okay as we were going we passed through um you know like palm canal um farms we passed through the countryside of Costa Rica we passed we saw like a lot of I said these people are living inside forests these keepers people they have learned how to live inside that forest. There's nothing they will tell me. I'm sure they are genotype that that is AS inside that Costa Rica forest. That forest. There's not anybody can tell me. So we passed through all those places. Sha, it was really nice. We saw waterfalls and everything. We took pictures. It was really lovely. You know. Hi guys. So we passed ATV to see the waterfalls over here so we're getting to the waterfalls now <sighs> i'm going through this private waterfall area <laughs> yeah i'm just going to my and my friends will never And then time to come back we're coming back it was like a three hours journey going and coming so we're coming back and all of that and then they, that was when i started feeling a little confident i was sweating potholes hey i don't even master the thing before you know you people i lost control of the i didn't i don't even know how 
but the way that ATV booted me out of the car, as in ATV threw me out of the car. Thankfully, I did not break anything. You know. I'm still healing from my injuries. I'll show you guys videos, but I did not break any bone and anything, thankfully. Woo! I went out with steeds and composure. Look at me now. Thank God nothing major happened. See my leg here. As you can see, my feet. My knee one. Knee two. Hey! But thank God nothing major happened. I'm still maintaining beauty. It is well. Immediately the accident happened, obviously, blood started coming out. One dog from nowhere. This life, this life, how the dog smell fresh blood inside the forest. One stray dog from nowhere just came. Oh, that's start licking my blood. Hey, God, from the floor. The way they pushed him, I said, God, no, this dog wants to come and lick my blood. The way they pushed him from that place. Hmm. Man, I asked me, are you okay? Man, I said, oh, I didn't want you to drive alone, but I didn't want to be a part of it. I said, yeah, no problem. I finished driving. Now I've X ATV from my from my list. At least I've done it. My body have calmed. I should have had accident. I'm not doing ATV again, but at least I've taken fine pictures. I've done everything. God has preserved my life. It could have been worse because the way the ATV threw me, as it threw me like this on the side, was the way was part of the forest. So imagine if it threw me with greater force than it did, and I went down the hill that forest all the thorns and all the wood and everything it most likely would have been worse but the way it threw me i fell up like i landed on my knees that kind of thing and scratched my knees and part of my leg and thankfully it wasn't like a big deal you know but like i was bleeding so the, the man had to pack the atv somewhere and then i had to now go on the instructor's atv along with the other people. So when we went back, you know, poured water on it, sprayed some alcohol, bruh, it was not a, an easy journey. In fact, as I'm doing this video, I'm still recovering. It has, it has not been easy, I'm still healing. But, um, you know, that happened, I couldn't walk out on bandages. The next day was 1st of July, you know, and I still had not got to the Manila Antonio Park. I still had not taken more pictures that I would. You know, but then I'm like, eh, I'm still gonna do this, you know. So the next day, I rested a little bit um, at home, and then later, I, like, attended church, like. Uh, Stream Koinonia was miracle service today. Worshipped online, and then in the evening, I went out to town, like, saw the beach, saw places, took pictures at the ports, like proper pictures and everything. Hi guys, so this is like downtown. Um, keep us and I brought my wigs I brought my <laughs> I brought my makeup I brought jewelry but brah not in the mood for anything I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like today is Sunday so I think they pretty much shut down you know Just looked around and just for fresh air.
I came back home. And then the following day, which was Monday, I was meant to go back Tuesday, the following day, which was Monday, um, yeah, then I went to the Manuel Antonio National Park. <laughs>